Good morning. My name is Scott Gerdeke, and I am a student in the Institute for Leadership Advancement within the Terry College of Business. And we are privileged to have Mr. Jay Gould from American Standard here with us today uh, to speak about his leadership capacity um, in many different executive roles um, across the United States. So welcome, welcome to UGA. Thanks. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me. Um, through all your through all your experiences in the many different executive roles you've had, what's been the most notable highlight of your career? Well, look, I would say I've spent my entire life preparing for the role that I have today, right? You know, I've finally am at the level after, you know, 25 years of being the CEO of a billion dollar company. And I take that with, with great responsibility. So leading up to this is really a lot of preparation. You know, how do you, how do you learn to lead in a particular way? And I think for me, it was about how do you, how do you actually grow into understanding what your gifts are so you can leverage your gifts in your leadership model. And also the other thing for me was how do you become a servant leader? Because in Absolutely. the beginning, you know, in the beginning, I don't think I knew myself well enough to say I could be a, a servant leader. But now having the confidence to lead and create value allows me to act in that way. Absolutely. So obviously you just made the transition from no Rubbermaid to American Standard. What's, what's the future of American Standard? Where do you see it going? Well, look, I really hope to restore growth and leadership to this iconic brand and business. You know, American Standard was a leader in the industry and has been in business for over 137 years. But it's one of these companies that kind of lost its way a little bit, you know. And, you know, frankly, the good news is it survived what I hope is the right. worst business environment of our entire lives. Absolutely. But now it's ready to, to grow again. And so my challenge is how do you grow and how do you create value with the assets that we have? Absolutely. So, as I said earlier, you've, you've had a lot of leadership capacity throughout your tenure. Um, how would you describe your strengths as a leader? Well, I hope, I hope the people around me would say, wow, Jay is an inspiring leader. You know, one of my personal attributes is being a pioneer and having an entrepreneurial spirit. And I hope I bring that energy to the table. You know, one of my wheelhouses is strategic thinking and helping organizations uh, rethink their growth plans has been one of my one of my uh, gifts that I've been able to bring to the table. Right. And so, how do you surround yourself with a successful team? What's your, what's your process there? Well, I think it starts with an attitude of there's no such thing as a perfect person, only perfect teams of people. Right. So, putting together collaborative individuals that want to win as a team. Right. I don't know if you follow American football at all, but I'm Absolutely. a I'm a huge uh, SEC. Of course you do, of right? Course. But I'm a huge New England Patriots fan, and I like Bill Belichick, you know, who's taken his teams to the, to the Super Bowl. But if you look inside the team, not that many star athletes, you know, Absolutely. not that many what you would call world-class right. athletes on that. But he puts a winning team together. And I think that's a challenge in businesses. How do you take a group of people and make them into winners? Right. So how do you tailor your, your leadership to different sects of people that you have to, to deal with? within the different companies you've been a part of. Yeah, it's, it's the, you know, there's an old Chinese saying, great students find teachers, you know, and so I think what you have to do is make sure that, that people want to follow the, the, the leadership, but you have to lead them in different ways. Different people need different things. So it's not a one-size-fits-all, you know, approach to leadership. Right. So you have to tailor each, each, leader, each different role to different different group of people. Yeah, and understanding people's motivations is a big thing. But at the end of the day, you start with the, the attitude, people want to be winners, right? People right. want to be on a winning team. And so the question is, how do you get there? Now, yeah. sometimes people don't want to adapt to a plan. Right. And I think one of the challenges of leadership is you take those people out early. Right. Absolutely. You got to have a strong it's team It's a around. huge mistake if you don't. Right. So how have your career experiences helped you enhance and hone in on your leadership capacity? I think, you know, one of the great things about my career, the fortunate things is I've worked in a lot of different industries. So it actually, as you enter a new industry like I'm doing now, moving into the building products and plumbing industry, I have confidence in the things that I know what to do work. Right. So it's not about questioning myself, it's about figuring out how to apply growth strategies into a new organization, into a new industry. So probably more than anything else, it's about confidence. Right. Absolutely. So. As we said earlier, you've had a lot of leadership leadership jobs, and how how do you continue to grow as a leader? So you've been you've been so successful as a leader of Coca Cola, New Rubbermaid. How do you continue to grow as a leader in each new in each new thing you 
each new obstacle you, you face? Well, I think leadership is a journey, right? And part of it is figuring out who you are and applying that, but also knowing that the world continues to change. So you have to, you continually have to stay relevant. You know, for me, over the last five or six years, that was spending a lot more time in China. Right. You know, I think China is one of the major influencing factors in business today. And if you don't know China, you, you cannot lead on a global level at least. Absolutely. So for me, it was investing a lot in China. Now, as I move into the CEO role, it's about understanding the investment community much more deeply than I have before. Right. So today, American Standard is owned by a private equity company. It's understanding the private equity world. And as I prepare to lead the company from private equity into a new capital structure, understanding that as well. Absolutely. So that's kind of my, the next phase of my right. journey. Always, always, learning. always, always a learning curve. curve. Yeah. Absolutely. So there's students such as myself that are seniors about to graduate um, going into the working world. What, what would be a, your one piece of advice for all those graduating, starting their, their careers? You know, one of my favorite quotes is from Walt Disney. If you can dream it, you can do it. So my encouragement is dream big, figure out what you really want to do, and then make five-year plans. You know, for me, I hate one-year plans because you get too neurotic about one-year plans. Five-year plans give you enough time to dream big, but also time to, to, to figure out how to accomplish it. Absolutely. So that's what I would encourage you to do. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time today. Yeah, you're very welcome. I um, appreciate it, and thank you. Yeah.